Hey guys, this is a Forte lock that I bought when I was down in Lima, Peru uh, about a week ago. Looks beautiful, the package, called the F60. I don't know if that's 60 millimeter or what. Uh, engineered for security. Um, it's got a lot of interesting features about it. It says it has security, uh, for, pins for high security. It's got a typical eight, uh, type 8 cylinder. Eh, anyway, not. let's take a look at the lock itself. Very heavy lock, very heavy duty. The um, Arco Templado means it has a um, hardened shackle. It's got a little rubber seal here so that the water supposedly can't get down inside the lock, but you notice there's a little gap there. It's all the way down. It's in the groove, but it doesn't quite seal it. It's a uh, rated uh, range of security is 5 plus plus. I have no idea what that means. But the reason I really liked it is because it's got Peru engraved right on the front of it because that's where it's made. So, let's see if we can get into this thing. Let me get this locked up here and I will show you the key. Another reason I like it is because you'll notice it has seven pins. Not often you find a seven pin padlock, so I was pretty excited to find this thing. beautifully nice and smooth but there is a very strong spring tension on that core which is a good thing it's a counter pick measure all right let's see if we can figure out how to get in here that ought to work doesn't bind up and I'll start off with it's pretty wide it's a wide actually it's a reverse uh, Yale keyway it curves off to the left there but Pretty wide. I'll try this 25 thousandths Peterson uh, gem. All right. A little bit of tension. Let's see what this Forte has got to offer. Let's figure out where that spring tension breaks. Okay, I don't have enough tension on it there, obviously. And seven. Now I think I might have too much tension. Okay, that was pin five. You know you have too much tension when it seems like you're bending a 25 thousandths pick. It's not a good sign. Okay, I'm going to let off the tension a bit. There we go, that was pin three. I think I might be overdoing it a hair. Get around that corner to get access to that pin. Okay, got a little turn on the core. So I might have a security pin or two in here. And there we go. I don't think there are security pins. I think it's just a little bit sloppy on the core. Um, while we're at it, I love messing with these locks. They look secure and they have all these neat engraving and they, but they cut corners to save money and if you look closely we might let me move this rubber thing out of the way. We might be able to get a shim up inside of there. It's not a lot of room to work with. So typical of any tight crack. All tight cracks appreciate a little bit of lube before you stick something rigid up in there like a shim. So let's see if we can make this work. By the way, a lot of guys ask me where I get these shims. These are South Ord shims, and these are practically worn out. I had them a long time, very durable. But these little uh, blue handles, I got them off a cheap Chinese set. So it's a combination of South Ord stuff, and the only good part of the Chinese shims were was the rubber handles. Let me see if I can find another shim. Here we go. That doesn't come out. Now you notice when we put that first one in, now that second one's really tight. So maybe this lube, oh it does, it goes right in there. Now if we can just slide it around, we should have an open. There you go guys. Uh, while we're here, let's do one more thing. Let's see if they were careless enough to leave it unshielded. No, I can tell you, I'm reaching, the, there's a shield in there. And it's right about there. So. 
definitely shielded. But anyway, too many other ways to get into this lock. Beautiful engraving, be beautiful workmanship, but uh, if you can shim it, that's not a good thing. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal, and stay away from Forte locks. Thanks.